Hey folks, uh, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this lesson is drawing quadrilaterals. Okay, so a four-sided figure. So how can we draw different quadrilaterals? Okay, so so here's a robot made up of all quadrilaterals, even the eyes, the mouth, the antennas, the ears, the hands. They're all four-sided figures. That's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, we have learned to classify quadrilaterals by uh, the number of pairs of opposite sides that are parallel, or the number of pairs of opposite sides that are equal or the number of right angles that they might have. Okay, so let's draw some quadrilaterals next here, you guys. So so you need a, uh, I always tell my students, I want you to draw straight edges. Don't uh, do these without a, a nice straight edge, which is a ruler, okay, or the edge of a, a student ID card or something. So something that has a nice straight edge on it. And then use a ruler to draw line segments from points A to B. So I'm just going to pick up my straight edge and go from A to B, and then from B to C, C to D, and then uh, uh, D back to A. Okay, don't do this. Don't just pick up your pencil. I'm, I'm doing something I don't want you to do. Don't do this with your just your free hand because uh, actually that looked pretty good. But see, see how that doesn't look nice and straight right there? So it just looks kind of sloppy. So, so when I tell my kids, it's painfully obvious that you're not using the straight edge right here. Okay, so don't, you know, this is, I don't want you to do this. I want you to pick up your ruler and draw nice straight lines. Well, that last time I was. Right on the money looks pretty close. Anyway, something like that. Okay, and then write the name of this quadrilateral. Okay, so remember, uh, this has one pair of opposite sides, so this guy is just a trapezoid right there. It does have uh, a right angle there and a right angle there, but a rectangle has four right angles. This one's open more than a right angle. This one's open less than a right angle. So uh, with one pair of parallel sides, and this uh, quadrilateral is a trapezoid right there. Okay, so here are three examples of quadrilaterals. Draw an example of any other polygon that is not a quadrilateral. So here's one. There's a triangle right there. There's one. It's just just make sure it doesn't have four sides. So 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 explain why our polygons are not quadrilaterals. Well, the first one they don't have four sides. The red one is a is a triangle. The blue one has six sides. So it's called a hexagon. Do you remember that from? I think it was lesson 12.3, I think. Okay, here's three examples of squares. Draw a quadrilateral that is not a square, okay? Well, there's a parallelogram right there. There's a trapezoid right there. And why aren't those squares? Well, there's a couple of reasons why they're not squares. These quads don't have four equal sides, and they also don't have four right angles. Those are the key things about um, uh, squares. Squares have four equal sides, and then there's all four right angles. So... This one's kind of a square twisted sideways, but it is still a square because that is a 90 degree angle right there. So that's the key reason why they're not square. So here's three examples of rectangles. So draw a quadrilateral that is not a rectangle. So we can't draw a square because squares are rectangles. So there's one. That's later. We're going to talk about that later. That's a parallelogram because it does have two pairs of parallel sides, the top and bottom and the left and right. And we'll talk about parallelograms a whole lot later. There's a trapezoid right there, so explain why our quads are not rectangles. Well, the big thing is they don't have four right angles, or they don't have two pairs of parallel sides. The red guy does, okay? The top and bottom are parallel, and the left and right are parallel. So that has two pairs of parallel sides, but this trapezoid doesn't, okay? Um, and they uh, uh, they don't have uh, two pairs of equal sides, okay? None of these sides don't even look like they're equal. This one does. So this parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides, but the reason why this one is not a rectangle, these aren't right angles. They all have to be right angles right there, okay? Okay, here's three examples of a rhombus. So draw a quadrilateral that is not a rhombus. So a rhombus is any four-sided figure where all four sides are equal right there, okay? That's the only thing about rhombus. So rectangles, they're not rhombis. Uh, rhombi is plural for rhombuses or rhombus. Uh, your book says rhombuses, so anyways, I call them rhombis when you get later in, in math. Um, so rectangle is not a rhombus because not all four sides are equal, and that's not a rhombus at all. So uh, why are the quads that we drew not rhombuses? These quads don't have four equal sides, okay? All right, so uh, so we're going to choose four endpoints to connect uh, to make a rectangle. Remember, a rectangle has two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel, two pairs of opposite sides that are equal, and there's got to be four right angles. So I just got to zoom through and see if I can see a rectangle with these 
these points right here. Let's see. No, not there, not there. Here, right here. Can you see the outer guys? If we just connected those guys right there, that would give us a nice, good-looking rectangle right there. All right. So now let's draw a quad that's described below and then name uh, the quad. So two pairs of equal sides. So we're just going to draw two pairs of equal sides right there. So something like this. And it's a quadrilateral. So what is that? Well, that's a rectangle right there. How about four equal sides? Well, four equal sides, it could be a square, could be a rhombus, okay? Four equal sides, so it's a square or a rhombus right there. All right, so explain one way that the quads that we drew were alike and the way that they are different. So here's how they are alike, you guys. So uh, they had two pairs of parallel sides. Can you see that the red guy has the top and bottom parallel and the left and right are parallel? And these blue guys, are these are parallel and these are parallel. These guys appear to be parallel, and these guys appear to be parallel. So there's two pairs of parallel sides, okay? There are two pairs of equal length, okay? So again, the top and bottom look equal, so that's a pair. The left and right look like they're equal, so that's a pair. Same over here, top and bottom, left and right, this side and this side. So, uh, so they have two pairs of parallel sides, okay? Now, what are they different about? The red rectangle does not have all four sides of equal length, okay? So the top and bottom look like they're longer than the left and right, but over here, on the rhombus right here, all sides are equal right there. So that's uh, how they're different right there. And the blue rhombuses don't always have right angles, okay? I should have said rhombi. Uh, plural is rhombuses. So let's see, I'll just write that right here, rhombi. Uh, uh, R-H-O-M-B-I. That's plural for rhombuses, okay? That means the same thing right there. Anyways, I hope that makes sense, you guys, and take care.